Hello, YouTube family. Auntie is here. It's the start of the weekend. It's not cute not knowing. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. We're starting with a hug because you never know who needs a hug. We, we're, st we're going through another heat wave here on the on the East Coast. It is. It, it's steamy. It's like stepping out into a sauna. So what's happening? So last night, I started watching the First Wives Club, which is streaming on BET Plus. Jill Scott, Ryan Michelle Bethe, Michelle Buto. I just started, so I don't know if Malik Yoba is 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 in like the whole season. It's ten episodes. What I saw last night, just that first episode, because I can't wait to binge. It seems like it's going to be an exciting season. It's well written. I love the scenarios and the. I'm just such a huge fan. The First Wives Club. It is streaming now on BET+. Plus. Are we excited about Raising Canaan? I've been talking about it all week long. Raising Canaan. What was Canaan like as a kid? 50 Cent made the character famous on the Power series, and this is the latest chapter in the whole Power world. Bettina Miller is a Tony Award-winning actress. She plays his mama, The Rock. Rock. Raquel, not Raquel, Raquel. She bad the 90s fashion. It is set in the 90s in Queens, Jamaica, New York. Omar Epps is in it. You're going to see a whole new slew of stars. The young guy who is playing the young Kanan. I think you're going to be impressed with him as well. There's so much excitement on this show that airs starting on Sunday on Stars. It's already been signed up for season two. Someone put in the comments, well, can they just give us back season two? What's going to happen there? It's a lot to juggle around. So maybe they'll start bringing them back to back. Because after this, Joseph Sakura, Tommy, his world is going to be explored. But this one right here, Bettina Miller, trust me, we're going to be talking about this lady for a while. On Netflix, the Naomi Osaka docuseries is debuting. She's been through a lot, a young tennis sensation. And I think that when you're young like that, that instant fame, you got to be trained for the media because the media can come at you. Look at Shikari, Shikari Richardson. Um, she's not going to the Olympics, but she got far more press than anybody that's headed out there, except like a Simone, Simone Biles. What I find fascinating about this look at her life, I think that, I hope that people will recognize it's okay not to say that you're okay. Everybody wants you to be, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm happy. No, sometimes you're not. And it's, it's okay to say, I'm not okay. I just need a break. But it's a three-part docuseries debuting on Netflix. R. Kelly, his trial is less than one month away. Two lawyers are gone. The defense team, they're trying to gather it together. There's a woman on, on that defense team and she's already been scolded by the judge twice. In her statements, she was calling the young victims girls, these girls, these girls. They said they're women. She did it again like she ain't even hear the judge. Now, you know, I th that should be the one thing you learn in law school that you don't try to go up against a judge. You just don't do that. Not good. Kels, I hope you have a good team because you are going to need it with the trial being one month away. You guys had some interesting comments about is this Sex in the City reboot pandering to African American, you know, women? Because before when Sex in the City was hot, they didn't really, you know, have it. Maybe back in the 90s, we were nitpicky and like, well, they ain't got no black, they ain't got no black brands. Um, they're getting more diversified with the new women who are coming on to the show, but doesn't really matter. Um, a lot of people felt that they were. A lot of people are still mad about no Samantha, and she probably said, mm, my character's going to be near 70. I'm not doing the stuff I did in the 90s. Carrie and Mr. Big are going through a very nasty divorce. I think it's going to be interesting, but your comments were interesting as well. Remy Ma, the rapper, is coming to VH1 in a new crime series. We know her for her rapping, but this new crime series is going to be called My True Crime Story. 
and she's going to be coming to VH1 with it soon. At the movies, Space Jam, A New Legacy. The first one had Michael Jordan, 1996, Bill Murray. This one has LeBron James, Don Cheadle, director Malcolm Lee. You got Zendaya voicing Lola Bunny. How will it do at the box office? You have two options on seeing it. You can either go to the theaters and see it or watch it on HBO Max. Here's my question to you. Do you think next year it will, that they'll continue showing some things on streaming services the same day that it comes out in theaters? I think they're going to hold on to it a little bit longer only because the Rona is still here. And I think it's going to be a while before we can really, really, like, get out with cases rising. Protect yourself, y'all. Marlon Wayans, the month of August, it's going to be his. Y'all know I love Marlon. Marlon is in the new Aretha Franklin movie, Respect. He plays that bad husband. And before the pandemic, I had a chance to talk with him. And he said, no one has ever seen me like this. I mean, he's really dramatic. And he's really playing the heck out of that bad husband. His new comedy special on HBO Max on the 18th. You know what it is. We're talking the 18th of August. And it's a great profile on him in the new issue of Essence Magazine. I adore him. Um, the article just says, let him be great. He's more than the characters you've seen in White Chicks or Scary Movies. He's really talented. He will not stop being a comedian. But wait until you see him in respect. Jennifer Hudson. This movie comes out August 13th. There's a weekend edition that comes up, and I have a young lady who puts it all together. It's the fancier edition that we have for the weekend. So do check us out. Leave a comment. Leave your comments. Auntie will be getting in touch with people momentarily. I promise. Look at me. Someone said it was weird that I'd be able to do this, but I'm going to tell you what, what's interesting. You know, this is where I had my stroke, and... I can do it on here. And before, trust me, six years ago, I couldn't do any of this. God is good. I couldn't do any of this. I know it looks strange and weird, but I just couldn't. Have a great weekend. Wherever you are, be safe. There's a lot going on out here. There's a lot going on. I won't be here on Monday because we're taking our little Mondays off in July. Is this the last one I got? <laughs> one more after this week. My boss is like, come back to work. But I'm just trying to take some days off to enjoy some of the holidays. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me. It's not cute not knowing. Have a great weekend. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.